Hi Aquarius, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your general reading for the month of December 2020. So this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs in the Collective. So we're going to see here just what general energies are coming in for you, what's coming towards you, what do you need to know right now. So anything at all that Spirit wants to bring through. Do keep in mind that this is very general, so it's not going to be for all of you. It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius. So we're just going to look at the collective Aquarian energy. It could be picking up as well on somebody who's around you, somebody who's close to you, your environment. So also take that into consideration when interpreting this, okay? So let's see here what we have going on for Aquarius. So Spirit, please use me as a clear channel. These cards have been like really flipping around here as, as soon as I started the Aquarius reading. So maybe there's a, a need to really ground yourself right now. A need to stay centered. Yeah, see, they're like not shuffling properly. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Any general messages, Spirit, for Aquarius? What do you need to know right now? Ooh collective Aquarian energy in December. So let's see here first, what is the overall kind of theme right now? What is the overall energy for you Aquarius within and around you at this time? All right, so we have the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Wands in reverse, and we have here the Knight of Cups. So let's go ahead and confirm this with this deck here. Bottom of this deck, we have the Star and the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles beneath that. So there's definitely some Definitely some movement here with the Eight of Wands coming through. And I am seeing this Three of Wands, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. So there is quite a bit of energy here in terms of possibly wanting to quickly move ahead to something. There could be some pending, pending communication or pending offer. We do have this Knight of Cups coming through, so we'll see what that's about. It could be that there is an offer coming through romantically for you here. Um, and I do think with this Two of Wands reversed next to the three of wands there might be a decision here that has to be made or some form of um, deciding on what path to go towards with this star and the eight of wands and this could be a lot of forward movement a lot of forward momentum here quite a bit of wands energy so let's confirm here what else do we have for aquarius in the month of december what is this about Aquarius Collective. Let's confirm this. Three of Wands, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. What's going on here for Aquarius? So I feel like this is really about stepping out of a consciousness of lack. Yeah, here we have taking steps. And we have a consciousness of lack in reverse. So I definitely feel here like there is, like I said, a lot of forward momentum, a lot of forward movement here. And I'm not sure yet with this Knight of Cups, it might be that you are just going to be really wanting to open up yourself, really wanting to express yourself more, maybe wanting to, you know, take action towards creative projects, towards things like that. For those of you, this could be somebody here who's around you, could be specifically a masculine, doesn't have to be though. Who might be wanting to, you know, step out of a consciousness of lack here and take steps because with that eight of wands and the three of wands here, I'm getting the same kind of energy. And if you see this person is sitting, looking towards the past in both of these pictures, and they're kind of sitting the same way or standing the same way. So this is really about getting out of a feeling of it's not the right time to do this or 
you know, a feeling of, of being stuck, being somehow maybe insecure about taking this chance or taking this. It's not necessarily a chance. It's more about planning is what I'm getting. Cause with this taking steps card here and the three of wands, I feel like this has been a goal. What I'm getting with this star beneath the eight of wands is this, this is, this has been some form of desire. Okay. So again, if this is you, I feel like for this reading, I'm getting two different groups. So for some of you, this is you and you've had some form of, of goal. You've had some form of desire. You've had whatever this is here, the star that you have envisioned that you have wanted to move towards. And I feel like there's an incredible amount of healing taking place here for you. The healing light at the bottom of the deck that's allowing you to take steps towards this, this goal or this, you know, project or whatever this is here. And I feel like maybe in the past or in the recent past, you have not felt capable of doing this, or you have not felt capable of, um, for some reason, maybe stepping outside of something or stepping outside of your comfort zone, or maybe you have to leave one thing behind in order to go towards this new path or this new idea. And so I feel like this is going to be a time for you to really plan. There's going to be a lot of planning here about maybe even travel for some of you or just really taking these necessary steps to move forward. So I feel like you're really filled with a lot of healing right now. You're really filled with a lot of light here. I'm also getting a lot of divine guidance for you. Like you're being given this globe, you're being given this orb here. Um, same kind of feeling here as a star in this picture too. It's like there's a lot of light here, lots of light in this card as well. So it's like it's time. I'm getting it's time to move ahead. It's time to go after things. It's time to take steps. And this is kind of like a slow process, even though we have the eight of wands. I do feel like with this three of wands, maybe it's something that you are, you know, kind of, for example, deciding how to, how to keep taking steps towards where you want to go. Okay. And it's not going to be like doing something hastily. It's more about you actually having all of the, the, the tools and the support that you need to make this happen here. So I feel like you're being given a lot of support is what I'm hearing as well. And so looking at the bottom of this deck, we have my dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible. So this could be about your dreams, you know, your actual dreams and, um, you know, when you're sleeping, but this could also be about your dreams with the star here. Some of you are receiving a lot of guidance about, um, intuitively about, what your aspirations, your dreams, your, again, your goals or what you want here. And, and I feel like this has been something that I don't know why for some of you, you feel like this is out of reach or you're not capable of having this, or you don't deserve this or something like that. And again, with this Knight of Cups, we're going to clarify this, but I feel like it does, it's kind of infused with a lot of love. It's infused with love in maybe what you're doing, what you're passionate about, or how you want to express yourself here. And this is included in this. So it's kind of like an expression from the heart, even if it's something you're doing for yourself. And for others of you, there is somebody here, whether you're moving towards this person or they're moving towards you. Um, that th like wanting to take the step to actually make that work, to make that happen. But again, there's a feeling of coming out of a consciousness of not being able to have that. Yep. See here we have the magician. So this is a really powerful energy here. Six of cups beneath that and the moon in reverse beneath that. So this is coming out of fear. The moon in reverse is coming out of fear here. I do feel Well, let's confirm first here. Let's see what else we have. So I'm going to use my new um, Oracle deck, the Shades of the Soul Guidance and Healing Oracle and see what comes through here. At the bottom, when I shuffle, we do have Appreciate the Mystery of Life. So again, same kind of feeling here. There's a mystery or the not necessarily a mystery. It's more about trusting in spirit, trusting in your intuition, trusting in your heart is what I'm getting as well and taking these steps towards your, your path without, um, yeah, see, we have be fully present. It's like, there's a feeling of needing to be in the present moment, needing to just trust, not overthink something, not think too much, but to actually begin to trust the flow is what I'm getting here. 
So what's going on for Aquarius? Any other messages that we have for Aquarius right now? Let's confirm this Three of Wands. Eight of Wands. What's going on here for you? December, Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius? Yeah. So here it is again, appreciate the mystery of life. We also have at the bottom, spice up your routine. We have here, find the silver lining and we have nourish and honor your health. So I feel like with these two cards, spice up your routine and appreciate the mystery of life with that magician that I had seen as well. And then this card too, my dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible. It's like I feel, and beneath this, I'm noticing that we have, I live each moment with a presence of gratitude, but it's in reverse. So it's not to say that you don't have gratitude or that you're not grateful, but I feel like there's a feeling of you maybe not taking full advantage of what you can be or what you could be or what you can, can do somehow here. Maybe some of you have been feeling a little bit complacent or there's a feeling of like boredom here with the spice up your routine. And so I feel like, again, with this card here, it's like you're really being given an opportunity is what I'm hearing. You're being given an opportunity to grow, to expand and find the silver lining. Maybe there has been a difficult situation for you. There's been a recent difficulty or situation that has made you feel, you know, that they're like, why did certain things have to happen this way? Or why did certain things have to end or whatever this is. And I feel because the tower comes before the star. So this is about renewing hope is what I'm getting to. A lot of you are being encouraged right now to maintain hope, to renew hope, to renew faith. And that's what this card is bringing you right here, the healing light. So whatever you may have lost hope in, if it's love, if it's, if it's your career, if it's just yourself, I feel like there's a, a strong calling right now to focus on your health, emotional, physical, and if you've been in, especially if you have had, you know, bad health in the past, I feel like that's the star here too with healing. But I feel that this is time to, time to take steps, even if it's baby steps towards a new direction or towards whatever this is for you. I feel like you're being encouraged to take that and to find the silver lining in why certain things had to happen this way, because I feel Every time the three of wands comes through, especially with the two of wands reversed, we do have to oftentimes leave behind something in order to venture into a new territory. And so whatever you may have to leave behind or whatever you have to step out of your box with, this is the silver lining in it is that there's more growth for you elsewhere. And you have to trust the mystery right now of this new path or this path, whatever this is here. Bottom of this deck, we do have inner calm and balance. So there's definitely a strong need right now for you to find mindfulness, to really be mindful with your uh, maybe mindful meditation here, mindfulness, and to really focus on the present moment, to focus on what you have now. I'm getting a message for some of you to not dwell on the past, not dwell on, again, like why certain things had to happen. There's a feeling of you needing to trust right now in the mystery of what's next and not getting too much in your head, okay? What else do we have for Aquarius right now? What are the messages for you, Aquarius? And like I said, if some of you do have health issues, I feel like this is saying here with nourish and honor your health that you are being given healing right now. You are being healed. There's a lot of healing in this card right here. But it's like you also have to, to be the one to assist that. You know, you can't just expect everything to happen for you. It's about implementing both action, you know, inspired action here with taking steps and allowing this to happen. It's like if you're too closed off or if you 
are in a negative mindset, then it's like the healing that's being offered to you is not being accepted or you're not seeing it or you are not, you know, having the full benefits of it if you don't, if you don't trust it. So again, look at the silver lining right now. Any other messages for Aquarius in December? Yeah, so this is exactly, so we have belief and faith. So we have the star and we have belief and faith. We have emotional flexibility. So this is a very strong message that's coming through about this. And look at all this purple we have here. Spiritual trust, you know, trusting in spirit, trusting in the path here. So if anything with this reading, and I'm going to look at this Knight of Cups because I keep wondering what it is. But if, if anything, I feel from this reading, spirit wants you to be flexible with your thoughts, with your emotions, with your trust right now, and to know that everything happens for a reason, especially for this reading here, because everything is going to end up in the best way possible for you. But taking steps to create this or taking steps to allow this is going to be essential right now for you. So we have ghost land, forgetfulness. So again, the past here could be the past, could be a lot of you. Maybe there's a feeling of you kind of dancing with the past or dancing with the ghost here or repeating certain things or repeating um, patterns. See, we have mercy and forgiveness. So a very much of a strong um, indication here of needing to forgive. If it's, a, if it's a person, if it's a specific person, if it's you, if it's your lifestyle, I feel like honoring your health here and making sure that you are putting yourself first within your own happiness right now is going to be really key here for you because I think that there's a need to free up your energy. There's a need to free up your heart right now with the mercy and forgiveness card. We also have here, yeah, awaken your creativity, the desert sand. And we have, see, disease and uh, negativity, stress and negativity. So I don't know why, but I, I do feel for some of you that you are kind of feeling a little bit negative or you're feeling a little bit stressed maybe. And, you know, again, there's like this, there's like this dance between knowing that spirit is assisting you, but also knowing that you also have to be the one to, to do this. I keep getting that with the spice up your routine and taking steps. It's kind of like a helping hand is being lended to you here, but you also have to put in the effort. You also have to put in the dedication here and to be emotionally flexible some of you are not allowing change to happen. It's like you want things maybe a certain way or you have a fixed mindset about something. And I feel that spirit wants you to know that th the silver lining will soon be revealed to you. You will find what the silver lining is, but you have to look off the horizon right now. You have to, you have to take that boat, even if the boat goes somewhere that you don't know where it's going right now. So let's look at this Knight of Cups, because I'm not sure if this is what you're leaving behind or if this is somebody coming towards you, or this could just be your own kind of emotional openness here. So what's going on with this Knight of Cups for Aquarius? What's going on with this Knight of Cups for Aquarius? Why is he here? Okay, so the Ten of Wands reverse, it flew right on top of stress and negativity, which is essentially right now the same kind of meaning to me. So Chariot reversed, Knight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Empress reversed. We have the Sun and the Nine of Wands that are both kind of sideways here like this. So I'm getting like a hanging by a thread energy here with the Nine of Wands and the Sun because the sun is what you are moving towards. The sun is happiness. The sun is clarity. It's, it's, it's illumination here. It's the same kind of feeling of a light here that's being shown to you. 
So I'm getting the message for some of you that you, okay, so for one group of you, there is a, a tendency here maybe to hold on to something that is not growing for you, something that is not actually working for you. So, yeah, seven of cups reverse and the death in reverse. So if this part resonates with you, it could be, it doesn't even have to be a specific person. It might be for some of you, but for others of you, there might be just be a, maybe a player, uh, somebody who's a player around you or a tendency to, or, or um, a pattern of, of attracting people who are unavailable, or maybe this is even somebody specific who keeps coming back around to you. And I feel like with the disease and negativity here in the 10 of wands reversed, this is actually preventing you or hindering you from your growth, your fertility here with the Empress in reverse. And with the sun and the nine of wands, some of you are kind of, and that's why the nine of cups flew out sideways too, because this is about you. I don't know if it's because you really want this person or because you want this type of thing, or if this is like a pattern here for you to be kind of feeling stuck in this, but there's like a hanging by a thread here to where either way you have to to really put yourself first with the Empress in reverse. And this could require, again, having to accept this light, having to accept change, having to accept what is no longer working for you. Because with the Seven of Cups reverse, this could be a very floaty kind of up in the air energy here. And the Knight of Cups can kind of be like that too. So if you've been dealing with somebody emotionally unavailable for some of you, there's a need to get grounded on what path is really going to serve you. And this could be what you have to find the silver lining in is that the silver lining is that you are exhausted with the nine of wands here. Some of you don't want to give any more of your energy if it's being taken or if it's being played around with. And that's going to be the lesson for you. I feel in December to look ahead, to ensure that you're not. And again, with the stress here, this could be disease as well. Health. There's something about your health here. Um, doesn't have to be anything major, but it could just be your emotional health, not being in the right frame of mind, not really honoring. And again, the Empress too can be somebody who is neglecting their health or neglecting their, their body, especially in this, you know, here with the earth and the like Gaia energy. So connecting with the earth here. So some of you need to get realistic on where your path is moving ahead. If this is you here dealing with somebody who is a player or somebody who keeps you as an option here, okay? I do think that's it for a lot of you because we have here the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups reversed. So this is about kind of over-romanticizing something. Let's confirm this Knight of Cups again. It could be for some of you that you just don't feel worthy of love or you don't feel worthy of having somebody romantic, you know, in your life. Because in this image, I mean, yeah, if that, if that first part doesn't resonate with you, for another group of you, you could actually be kind of it could be a little bit closed off or you're in, you're in an energy where maybe you are not trusting in the path. You're not trusting in love or you have an, a blocked heart chakra here. There's something about you not being available, not being open emotionally to trust in love again, or to trust in something like that again here. And so if that is your storyline, then that could also be it too. If you've been single for a very long time, or if you have just felt like there's an exhaustion here though. So I feel like this exhaustion is coming from the disease. It's coming from the stress. It's coming from this lack of maybe emotional flexibility here with something. Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Yeah, exactly. We have letting go and deserving both in reverse. 
and we have the honoring path and we have fragmented energy in reverse and playing it safe in reverse. So this is just kind of reiterating the same thing, playing it safe and fragmented energy in reverse. Um, it's like you're letting go of pieces of yourself that, that you don't need anymore or you're being encouraged to. So if you're holding on to a certain idea or if you're holding on to a certain path that maybe there's no growth here or maybe you know that it's just kind of feeding into, um, it, it, it's feeding into illusion or it's feeding into knowing that you deserve better, you know? So again, that could be somebody here who keeps putting you on the back burner or somebody here who does not honor you because with the honoring path in and not in reverse, in the upright position at the bottom this is about you needing to step into an energy of feeling that you are deserving, that you are honorable here. And I feel that with the Empress in reverse, some of you have been giving away your precious Empress energy to either one person or maybe even multiple types of connections that have been the same over the years or whatever that is. And so I feel that this exhaustion is keeping you from your vitality here. And it's actually beginning to, for some of you only, beginning to drain you of your health or there's, there's a health issue here for some of you. Um, and it's like, for some reason, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a piece of you that you've left behind or there's a piece of you that you are giving and it's like, it's one sided here. And so if that is your story, then again, Spirit's telling you here to really trust in the silver lining right now or to see the silver lining in the fact that you are not whole on this path. Yeah, four of wands or four of pentacles. Some of you are holding on really tightly to what you know or you're holding on really tightly it could be that somebody is holding on to you very tightly, but same kind of feeling though I'm, I'm getting for most of you is that it's causing a lot of stress. I mean, if, if, if this feels like it's reverse for you, it could be, but I think for most of you, this is you. Um, Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Yeah, this is definitely it. Seven of Swords with the Page of Swords reverse. So some of you, I do feel that clearly here, there's somebody. Again, I don't know if it's only one person. It could be for some of you. There's there's a need to see the truth in something right now because I feel with the Judgment card here, this is going to be a... There's a release happening here, a release on a self-level to... Some of you might be on the cusp of Pisces because this kind of came through for the Pisces reading as well, the judgment card. Um, there's a there's a feeling here of you maybe coming into some knowledge here about this Knight of Cups, or you are simply realizing what I just said here is that there's there, you're, that's feeding into something that is holding you back from your growth. It's heavily holding you back from your growth here. And I feel for a lot of you, you are kind of on the thread still. So maybe you have not let this go entirely. Maybe you have not seen the truth entirely. Um, but you will with the judgment card here. Or you're really being asked to see that. Aquarius, what's coming in for you? What's next for you? Aquarius, what's coming in for you? What do you need to know right now? Yeah, so I think I mentioned dreams in the beginning of the reading. I'm not sure if I did, but I think I did. And we have here dreams in reverse. There could be something very significant for you about dreams. Um, it 
It could be your dreams in terms of what, again, you want to inspire, what you want to move towards. And you're kind of being weighed down though. See, we have peace and we have justice. Peace in reverse. Some of you need to find justice. Like I can feel the energy. It's kind of like, it feels like you are... on the tail end of something like you're on the tail end of making a big change here or you're on the tail end of realizing that there are certain things that you have to let go of here um and it's like the light is calling you i'm getting that the light is calling you here it's beckoning you it's calling you to go into a different direction for a lot of you okay I do see travel for some of you too, if that resonates. Any other messages for Aquarius? Any other messages for Aquarius right now in December? Yeah, so here's this card again. I live each moment with the presence of gratitude in reverse. We also have, it is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality in reverse. Um, I do feel for some of you that there's a blockage here within maybe your sacral chakra or there's been a block within. It's like you're holding on tightly to... Again, something that is not fulfilling you on an emotional level. I do feel too that there's a feeling of, of, of again, giving yourself away or something like that here to where there's a need to call back your, especially if you're a feminine, to call back your feminine energy, to call back your, your happiness, your growth. I'm getting a message of carnelian crystal too. Could be very healing for you right now. Something about letting go, something about opening up and letting go. We do have at the bottom, I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion in reverse. So some of you may have, may be a little bit uh, disconnected here from spirit, or you have been feeling disconnected from spirit. Yes, I forgive and let go with loving ease. We have my community is supportive, loving, and active in the world. So I feel like a lot of you too, this is a need to... Maybe reach out to your community, reach out to those who support you, to like-minded people, and maybe this is going to be very healing for you. This is maybe part of your purpose too, to move towards that path. So what's next for you, Aquarius? What's coming in for you? What's coming in for Aquarius? Yeah, again, um, the death in reverse. It flew right on top of the four pentacles and, and four pentacles here. So a major transformation that's pending here for you. We have the king of wands reversed. Okay, we have the knight of pentacles over here. We have the Three of Cups and we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Six of Pentacles. So I'm going to get the final cards to clarify with the Kipper deck and the Lenormand here. But the Seven of Cups reverse is coming into, but I do feel though still that some of you are dealing with somebody who is not exactly who they say they are, or there's somebody here who's not being authentic. So what's the final outcome here for Aquarius with this spread?
What's the final outcome for Aquarius? Okay, we have the house, we have toil and labor, the woman, the bear, and high honor. the final outcome here for Aquarius. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel that we have pamper yourself and we have respect yourself and be respected, which is very much in alignment with this reading. And we have heart chakra at the bottom. So really work on your heart chakra. And we have see all sides of a problem. So I don't know exactly what this is. For some of you, I feel that there is, so for some of you, there is something here to where, um, it's either that you have something going on here, maybe at home that you feel is an obligation that you don't really want to be in anymore. Maybe because somebody here is being dishonest. I do feel with that King of Wands reversed and the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups reversed, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords reversed. There is something here that I feel um, is not really out in the open here. And I actually get with the high honor that this is about you honoring yourself because with this pamper yourself and respect yourself, same kind of feeling with the Empress here, the healing light. It's like you're really just being encouraged here to, even if it's a slow, because like I said in the beginning, it could be like a slow process for you, a slow and steady movement forward. Um, but nonetheless, it's like there's a need to focus on security right now, on yourself, respecting yourself, being respected because you respect yourself. So whatever this is, somebody that you are living with, somebody that you have a relationship with, somebody who is being dishonest with you about a home situation, um, something around that here, I feel needs to be um, it needs to be healed. And so the bottom line, I feel, is that this is going to be a time for you to heal your heart chakra really move forward, trust your path, trust spirit, take actions that you need to take to move forward, putting yourself first right now and um, taking back your energy. Okay. All right. So let's get the last message here. Last message for Aquarius. What's next for you? These cards have been doing this the entire time I've been doing the Aquarius reading. I feel like there's a lot of scattered, scattered energy here. Yes, loving your soul path. So this is about your soul path. This is about your own path. And that's what I felt from the beginning with the star and the three of wands. This is like your own soul purpose. And behind all of this has been some form of holding on to something. And I don't know... I mean, for some of you, it could even be that you are in an unhappy job situation. Maybe you are, you know, in some form of, um, or, or could even be a relationship or a marriage or something that keeps you captive or stuck. I don't know why it feels that way with the, with the bear here too. And yeah. So what's the final cards here for Aquarius? What's coming in for you? Another card about mindfulness. So there's been so many cards about that here. So really step into some mindfulness meditation. Um, I'm, I'm hearing too that this can help you to not like not be so scattered. Maybe that's why the cards are flying all over the place. It's like there's a feeling of needing to find centered energy 
And when you're centered, that's going to be when you feel like you have the, the, you, you have what you need to make those necessary decisions and choices. And we have sage wisdom. So yeah, the sage can also be a, a teacher. So some of you are going to be moving to the direction of really maybe being a teacher, being a leader. We do have this community card here too, and loving your soul path. Maybe that's part of it. You know, for some, for some of you specifically, it could be that this is a part of you having to break free from something that is not allowing you to be your true self. And I feel this has been coming through as well for quite a few signs. And I feel this is something about this Knight of Cups, Page of Swords is kind of lower energy, lower vibrational energy. And this over here is very different. This is about you. Like I'm getting for some of you that this is about you being authentically yourself, even if that means not being accepted by somebody, even if that means having to really know yourself inside and out. And I do think there could be other people who are, who are involved in this year or people who are trying to keep you on this spinning wheel. And this is going to be a time for you to express yourself. I'm getting a lot of feminine energy. So this could be like very goddess energy stepping into your power here as a feminine. And this is your justice. Okay. So I hope this could help you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great month and I'll talk to you next time. Much love.